Valorant, I'm in. So here comes some videos your way on what you can do. This video is gonna be about ping and frames per second so you can see that on your screen. This game was created for computers to work that are up to 10 years old. So you probably won't need the FPS that much but it's still good to know and run it for a week to see how it goes. Ping will be the important thing to kind of see how your latency is and how it goes. These are 128 tick servers, so it should be pretty good. And I'm sure if the game continues to do well, they will just even bring up more servers. So with that said, let me show you exactly how to set this up so you can keep it on your screen as you play. It is up towards the top, out of the way, so you don't have to worry about it getting in your scope and in your way. If you're new here and you like, Gaming, tips, tricks, settings, all that fun stuff. Do me a favor, smack that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell. I really appreciate it. And yeah, we're getting really close to 100K. We have been booming lately. Over a million views in the last 28 days. You guys, thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. With all that said, let's just jump in here. I'm not going to get all, you know, start crying and everything over this. Let's go here and choose up at the top left here and it's going to bring up the menu we're going to go ahead and choose settings and once we're in settings we're going to go ahead and choose video at the top here and video will bring up a few options we're going to go choose stats so you can show whatever you'd like here i currently have client fps off so i can go ahead and show both and what i did was i just clicked all of it just to see how it looks but probably the two you're looking for are these. I mean, packet loss, I think, is pretty important, too. That should always be zero, but you can go ahead and turn that on. So we'll go ahead and run these three to start, just to show you how it goes. And then I'll come back and show you the rest as well. All right, so I basically just loaded up the shooting range to show you. At the top left, you can see I'll circle it for you. Client FPS, we're running around 200, give or take. That's pretty nice. Uh, 144 drop, but uh, I think that's the lowest I've seen so far. That's still really good. Network round trip looks like my ping's around 23, 24. Earlier was 19, so that's not bad. So that would pretty much be the same numbers you're looking at in Fortnite if you were playing Fortnite. Packet loss, you always want zero. Those are basically what's lost between you and the server. You don't want any of that because if you do have packet loss, you're going to have some problems and you're going to have to go back and get what you lost and it just slows down your connection altogether. I have done a video on packet loss and I'll link it up at top in case you are having any. Those are the ways to figure out what's going on and how to fix it. Let's go ahead and turn the rest of the options on so you can see it. We don't even have to go out of the game. We just have to escape and then video stats. And then here, we're just gonna turn all of these on and then close settings. The nice thing about this is a lot of the settings are interactive, so you can turn them off and turn them on whenever you need. So once you are sure all your stats are looking good, you can turn them off and not have to worry. And then if you're noticing a decline, you can go ahead and just hit escape and turn them back on and see where the problem's at. So yeah, server tick rate staying about 128. Client FPS. I'd say 160, or I'm sorry, 180 to 220. It's kind of all over the place. Packet loss zero, awesome. Again, network round trip is 21. Uh, GPU frame time and CPU frame time look good. Uh, don't forget I'm also running my recording software, which does is kind of a bit of a hog, so that does slow things down a bit. If I just play the game without doing anything, which is very rare because I'm always streaming or making videos, uh, the FPS is usually very high. So there we go. You can also see everything on the right there. The graphical area. Let's see if I can find a good background. I guess that's a pretty good background to show you. Uh, you can also see like, the graphs as we go. And if there's any variant or anything like that. If there's any spikes. So if you just want the text part, that's the part at the top. If you want the graphical that's the part on the right so let me show you just by going back here so if we want client fps text only and then we want your ping text only we'll turn the rest off and then close settings now we just have those two at the top if we want them visually 
we would go back in and just change it to graphic. And then you have the graphs. So you can see how that works. I personally would say run the text just because it's out of the way and it's small and it doesn't bother you as much as the other stuff. That's how you go ahead and turn ping and FPS on in the game. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smack that like. I have some more videos you'll like to see. If you're looking at playing Valorant, I'll put a video at the end that shows you how to get whitelisted for beta.